Yo, what is up guys? Juke Wall Gaming here, and this is my video on tips on playing a big man, specifically a rebounding athletic finisher or an athletic finisher in general. In this video, I'll be covering dunking, dunk packages, layup packages, uh, even a jump shot, and tips and tricks to dominate on the court as a big man. So, basically, this is my big man. He is a 6'11", power forward, rebounding athletic finisher. Here are my stats. I average a B plus at the at the park or the playground. I have a win loss record of 319 to 177. I know it's not the best, but it's decent. Um, I average 5.89 points per game, 3.58 rebounds per game, and 1.42 assists per game. And on the walk on, I average nearly a triple double or a double double. And uh, NBA doesn't really matter. But yeah, so basically, uh, this is your general build. Um, I'm gonna show you the my player lab stuff because this stuff is really important um, for your big man because layups, dunks, jump shot. Jump shot not really as much with an athletic finisher, but definitely layups and dunks. So these are my layups and dunks right here. Um, get to go to gameplay moves and then dunks and layups. These are probably the best layups and dunks that you can have. Layups, I prefer default smalls. I also like default bigs, but the moment I'm trying default smalls. And then one of these these dunk packages you're gonna want are ones that aren't gonna get blocked. So yeah, big man tomahawks off one, off one, basic trainers off one. Cradle dunks are really cheese. They're really hard to block, and they're also really cool looking. Front windmills are good. Um, you, I don't think I've ever been blocked on a front windmill. Um, see, I've been trying other ones. Under basket rim pulls is decent, but if you look, um, sometimes or not, yeah, if you look, see, sort of pulls it back behind his head sometimes. So you want to be careful about that. These ones are decent rim grazers. You just have to be careful. But basically, the best way to look at what you want to do for dunk packages is look under, look at the different dunk packages and look for one that is not, you know, look for ones where he doesn't pull the ball back over his head or cock it back or pull up behind him or anything like that. Contact dunks, of course, are a necessity. I made my guy 6'11", so that he would get athletic contact dunks and big man contact dunks. So, because if I had made him six or seven foot, he wouldn't have gotten the athletic, he would have only gotten big man. So since I made my guy 6'11", he gets uh, all the contact dunks. And of course, it's very important. Of course, big man contact dunks are mostly for under the rim, you're just sort of posterizing people from underneath the rim. But there are some good, you know, driving, uh, uh, contact dunks too. But athletic contact dunks are the more fun ones. They're the ones where you're going to post through somebody. You're going to actually like make a highlight. Ones you're going to want to put in a mixtape or something like that. Um, yeah, and then I personally, I have one man show on. I don't know why it's on twice. But I have one man show on. I know it's, it's, it's just a fun dunk. I really want to get a Spider-Man. I've yet to get one. And so I really want to have a chance to actually get the Spider-Man dunk. I've gotten the second one before, but not the actual Spider-Man dunk. And I've gotten the Gorilla one multiple times. Um, yeah, you don't really have to worry about dribble moves and stuff. I actually, I didn't even worry about that because I never dribble. I literally never dribble because you don't want to dribble with the big man. Um, but, I mean, I'm sure there are other tutorials. If you want to do the glitch, that's one thing, but I'm not trying to get my account banned. So, that's what I'm, that's the only reason why I haven't messed with the dribble moves. Um, obviously no flashy passes. And then the shots. Um, I use free throw 21. It's just kind of a quick one, pretty easy. Um, dribble pull-ups, doesn't really matter. Um, and then jump shots, I called it test, I forgot to change the name of it. But this is a little uh, jump shot that I created for myself. Um, uh, it's a Rudy Gay, Kevin Durant, and Kevin Love mix. I like it a lot, it's really quick and it's really easy to time. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. As you can see, I had a, a different jump shot from another YouTuber that I tested out too. So yeah, that's basically all you want to have to worry about with that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you some tips for at the park or playgrounds. So basically, wait, well it loads real quick. Your biggest thing you're going to want to have is IQ. It's still loading by the way. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's going to load for a bit. But the biggest thing you're going to want to have is you're going to want to be able to see the field. You're going well, to you're, not the field. you're going to want to see the court. You know, like if you're going to, let me see if I can get somebody to come and play a game with me or not. But yeah, so like, going to want to shoot around. I'm just going to explain some stuff to you. So yeah, 
The post game is once is something that's very important. If you're being guarded by a a small, which sometimes you know I usually end up playing the three unless I'm playing with another center. But if I'm being guarded by a small, the post is your best friend because if you're guarding a point guard, shooting guard, sometimes even the small forward, you know the post is going to be so useful for you because they simply can't hold you. Especially since I maxed my weight. My weight is literally 310 pounds. Like there's that jump shot. I maxed my I maxed my weight. I'm six foot eleven, three hundred and ten pounds. So you're gonna wanna, you know, that's that's my personal preference because then you get higher contact dunk and things like that. Um, yeah, but that also helps you in the post because it ups your strength. So you're gonna wanna use the post a lot and work on post moves. I don't, you don't really get any post badges with the rebounding athletic, but it is something that can be very helpful if you just get good at it. See, there's the cradle dunk. Yeah, so that's your best friend, and just look at that. There's that jump shot. It's a very useful jump shot for, for close range. And that's another thing about it. There's a, a full white or a full magenta. But yeah, so basically, you're going to want to make sure you have a, a jump shot that works for close range, just because a lot of times, uh, as a rebounding athletic, they won't expect you to take mid ranges. But if you're able to get a mid range going and you're able to get a good jump shot going, uh, the, you'll get one or two free shots and hopefully you can make them because if you're just playing as a um if you're just playing as a rebounding athletic they never expect you they always expect you to play in the paint try to get contact dunks and stuff but let's say you stand right about here and they pass you the ball they'll be trying to guard you in the paint so you can just stand right here right here and pull a midi and then that's an easy two points um, I have made threes with this guy before. It's very uncommon, but I have made threes before. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it unless you're just scoring around. Like the only times when I ever take threes are if I'm scoring around. Like if I'm playing with friends and it's not, you know, we're up by a lot or if there's no reason to really worry about losing. Um, yeah, I can make threes just very, very rarely. I think he has like a 58 open three. Um, but of course, you know, this is just a rebounding athletic, so that almost went in but yeah so what you're gonna want to do for your build I'm gonna I might create a, a show a show you guys how, how to make the build but really all you have to do is pick a I picked the power forward I should have picked center you can centers get better dunk packages if you want to go for like the player dunk packages I don't I like the individual but if you want you know like a one of those if you want like a shack or something you're gonna have to be a center I think. I'm pretty sure Shaquille O'Neal, you have to be a center to get those dunk packages. So yeah, um, that's about it. Um, I am, let me just show you my stats real quick, or my uh, my build. So I'm a 90 overall, I just hit that yesterday from double rep, I got the game late. So, But yeah, as you can see, he has a 94 standing layup, and 84 driving, and a 94 shot close. That shot close is helpful for the mid-range, just close mid-range. Sorry, uh, there's cars that's on the door, or that's on the window. But you're gonna, you know, if you're really close, like I showed you with the mid range, the uh, the shot close is gonna be really helpful. And you can see I get a 92 contact dunk, a 90 driving dunk, and a 92 standing dunk. Those dunks are very useful. I get contact dunks all the time. It's very useful. Uh, mid range, it's not very good, as you can see. I still have three more bars to go once I level up some more, and it'll probably only be like a 70 when I'm fully done. Three point will be even worse, much worse. Uh, you can say I only have like a 58 open shot three. Um, ball handling, you're gonna have to really worry about that because with any big man, pretty much, I think the only ones who won't have this problem are ones who are, you know, ones who are have playmaking in their name, and even that's sort of tough. So you don't want the ball to be thrown to you in traffic because you will drop it, especially with a 65 ball control. You will drop the ball if it's passed to you in traffic. It's just gonna happen. Passing. Um, it's, you know, it's just basically anything. Of course, you want to have better passing, but I have break starter silver. So if you have break starter silver, you're going to be able to make those downrange passes decently. Um, you're still going to sail many, but for the most part, you can probably get them done. Post offense, not great. Um, but, you know, it is, it's decent enough, especially if you're, I wouldn't recommend posting up against like bigs or like defending bigs. Or just any bigs in general. Sometimes you can get away with it with like uh, 
uh, stretches, but just like I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're going up against the guard or small forward, you can probably post up on them, especially like a sharpshooter. Rebounding, I still have one more bar to go on that, but I have hustle rebounder gold, so I can definitely board really well. I have an 81 box out, 79 offensive, and 79 defensive rebound. That's good enough. I snag. I get many boards. It, I, yeah, uh, in a previous gameplay, one that I uploaded a little while ago, I had eight boards, I think, and we ended up winning the game because of that. Steals, 73, and not really have, don't really have to worry about that. You know what I mean? If you spam or if, if you can get an occasional steal, but if you really, especially with a big, it's going to be hard to get steals. What you're going to want to rely on for steals is the bump steal. You're going to want to try to like, run into them and make them drop it. Pressing X or try or square probably isn't the best idea. Blocks, um, decent, not great, all right. Um, vertical, you're gonna want to have your vertical max. If you if you're creating a character like this and you don't have VC to max them out, if you're gonna want to get contact dunks and rebounds and stuff, you're gonna want to get that vertical up because vertical is very important. I have a high weight and I'm pretty sure weight affects how high your vertical is, but I'm able to snag boards. So you're going to definitely want to max out your vertical if you want to grab rebounds and if you want to jump for dunks and stuff. Lateral quickness is terrible, 51. You're just going to want to like smother them and get as close to the people you're guarding as possible. Speed is also not very good, but that's because you're a big. Acceleration, also not very good. Strength, you're going to want to get as much into your strength as possible. That's what helps you get contact dunks, is your strength. Strength is what you want to have. So, yeah, since I have an 80 strength, I can get contact dunks all the time, and I still have three more bars. I might end up with an 84, 85 strength, and I'm done with it. Maybe more like eight, between 83 and 85 is what I'll probably end up having when I'm done. Stamina, you don't get that until later. Let me go over my badges. So, I don't do very many alley-oops, but I'm able to get it bronze. Well, let's finish your maxes out of gold. It's pretty good. Of course, you're going to miss layups no matter what. You know, in, this, in 2K18, you miss layups all the time, so you're going to want to have... You know, the layups, well, it's Spencer helps, but it's, you know, it's only as good as it's going to get. Putback King, it goes to Hall of Fame. I have a gold right now. Posterizer also goes to Hall of Fame. I have a gold right now. I'm grinding to get a Hall of Fame. Um, this is a key badge. You get Hustle Rebounder Gold, which is very good. You know, the Hustle Rebounder Gold helps so much because without the badge, you're not going to be boarding as much. But since you have a gold, you're going to be rebounding over everybody. Basically everybody, even I've rebounded over glass cleaners before. It's all about getting position. And so one way that you can definitely work on getting that is if you're a big, which this is this is for bigs, if you go into the gaunt if you go into the training facility, there's gonna be a rebounding gauntlet. And that will help teach you how to uh, box out and get rebounds. Brick wall, silver, uh, bruiser, silver, one minute fast break, doesn't really matter. Break starter is only silver. It's gonna, it kind of sucks, because if it was higher, it'd be easier to make those downrange passes. Chase down artist is good. You tend to get some decent chase down blocks. Rim protector, bronze, teardropper, defensive stopper, post pin technician. This is good. It's decent. It's not great, but it's as good as you're going to get. Glue hands is really hard to get on this guy, because you drop the ball a lot. So it's tough. I don't, have, I don't even have acrobat yet. These don't really matter. Yeah, so that's about it. So yeah, if you um if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like for me. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm you know starting out on YouTube. I'm hoping to get bigger. So yeah, if you guys are interested in more videos like this, go ahead and hit me up. Uh, my gamer tag, I'll show you. It's um it's uh, PWC Jukawall or PWC X Jukawall. So yeah, if you guys want to add me, go ahead and add me. I'll run with you guys if you want. Um, I have a squad that I run with. I'm part of a clan, PWC. So I kind of, I usually have people to run with, but occasionally I don't have anybody to run with, and I'm down with running with subscribers and stuff. So if you guys want to run, go ahead and add me. I'll leave my gamer tag in the description too. Yeah. So that's about it. So thank y'all. I'll see you guys.